let's just talk about the start of the game. Maybe that first period, the stuff team to fall behind, try to make up ground. Yeah, yeah, it yeah, was for sure. And then, you know, double minor early kind of, I think, affect our flow a little bit. You know, we want to get everybody going and get everybody into the game. It didn't really happen in the first, and then we fell behind and made, made, it, made it very hard. You had plenty of shots in this game. You think you made it tough enough for the, for the back of the building? No. no. Common theme. Patrolling the front of the net, or are you guys not exerting the price to get there? Well, a combination of both. But there's too many nights where we talk about it. we don't have we have shots, but we don't have net front traffic. And then if you can get underneath them at the net, when those rebounds, I thought the puck was coming off their guy a little bit here tonight. And you can get those rebounds and score on seconds and thirds. And we've got to do a much better job of that. Because, you know, not not only tonight, but moving forward. We realize if we have, if they see it at this level, they're going to save it. On third goal, their third goal, did you make adjustments to the line numbers, shorten the bench a little bit, some players sitting a little bit more? Yeah, no, we didn't play. Players. We didn't play many guys like after that. We just, you know, we're trying to come back. We're trying to score. We're trying to get some guys that were dangerous. I thought Skinny was dangerous. He had up with a, a lot of shots and some good quality shots. That, uh, you know, usually the quality that he had tonight, he usually finishes one of those. So I thought him and Stalzi, you know, were dangerous as a duo. And they put Sam's with them. Offense, and, and then uh, I thought Victor Rask. We, we combined a, a, a put a group together to play against Pavel, and uh, I thought Victor did a good job end to end there, and uh, that's a tall task. When you get a lot of shots, is that almost a false sense of security? The people do you look up and you think you're getting a lot of chances, and you're not? Is that? I don't. No, <laughs> I don't. But for the guys on the ice, could that happen? And they or? don't either. Okay. They, they're well aware. We, we look at our chances for and against after every period in between the periods. We have. And we know exactly where we get for creating quality chances. We know, and we're hard on ourselves. Is what's a, what's a scoring chance and what's not? And obviously, there wasn't enough quality chances. Stall took a shot late in the game. It, yeah, it, it's, uh, no, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, I was talking to the guys about Jersey already moving on, and uh, I want to talk, spend some time going over this game, and I want to get a little bit done for Jersey for the morning, and uh, hopefully by the time I get back there, I get an update on Stalzi, and I hope we have. You've seen Dotsy play a lot of games. Well, he's a long line of pretty good games yeah, around. there's there's a, there's a handful, boy, more than a handful. Sorry, it scared me when I watched the game last night. I thought that line was down there. I thought their Elmer's healthy and jumping and doing a lot of the heavy lifting, a lot of the work. He's playing with speed and he's hard on bucks. And Powell's got a little, t you know, twinkle in his eye and he's looks like he's healthy and dominant on the puck, strong on the puck. All the important faceoffs I thought he won. Statistically, it looks like the faceoffs were somewhat even. But I felt like when they needed a draw, they got the draw, and a lot of times it was it was bad. When you were in Detroit and you saw that twinkle in his eye, was that usually a pretty good sign? Always a good sign. Always Something's a good gonna sign. happen. Well, it's just he's a special player. He thinks the game at a higher level than everybody else. He's able. He has the skill to play it at a higher level, but he thinks it at a different level. And, and when he's playing well, he's one of the best in the world, if not the best. Thanks, coach. Thanks, coach.